Item number, SCP-1049. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-1049 is to be kept in a one by one by three meter aviary. Other than a perch two meters above ground, feeder and water container, no foreign objects are permitted in SCP-1049's enclosure. SCP-1049 must be kept tethered to the perch at all times. If entry to SCP-1049's enclosure is required, protective clothing must be worn, and time spent inside the enclosure must be kept to a minimum. SCP-1049 is to be fed a diet consisting mostly of beetles, crickets, and locusts. Small bats or mice may also be offered once per week. Personnel must not enter SCP-1049's enclosure to feed it. The feeder attached to the aviary allows for food to be offered from outside. Description SCP-1049 is an adult male black and white owl. It is physically identical to any other members of its species save for its eyes, which are reddish pink. Its dietary needs and hunting behaviors are similar to those of any other owl. However, SCP-1049 exhibits the ability to remove the skeletons of humans by unknown means. It is presumed that it does this only to humans, as SCP-1049 does not appear to have the ability on any other creatures prior to containment. SCP-1049 was found after police in Mexico made reports of boneless corpses being found in the nearby jungle. With no signs of external injury or another person having committed the crime. However, one victim had been found with several feathers resting on the corpse's chest, which were identified as belonging to an owl. Locals in the area reported seeing an unusual red-eyed specimen near to where the corpses were found and claimed that it had caused the deaths of its victims. Police immediately discounted the claims. Foundation officials received a report during routine intelligence checks and searched the area, eventually finding SCP-1049. Before SCP-1049 could be contained, it alighted upon the shoulder of Agent B. SCP-1049 bit at Agent B's face, although Agent B suffered no injury. After several seconds, Agent B collapsed. Agent B's body appeared to have caved in on itself. Remains of Agent B were found to be completely boneless. Cause of death is believed to be the pressure and shock applied to the brain after the loss of the cranium. SCP-1049 later produced a pellet containing small pieces of human bone, including phalange fragments and a cochlea. Testing confirmed that the fragments belong to Agent SCP-1049 will attack any humans it sees in this manner, resulting in a complete loss of bone tissue and resultant death. Addendum 
examination of SCP-1049 reveals no internal anomalies or any indication of what causes the reaction seen in Agent It is also unknown how bone fragments are ingested by SCP-1049 as it does not attempt to eat its victims.